I hate you, but we're back for another episode of Pokemon Heart Gold. Last episode we actually had a lot of trouble with Misty because she kept stalling. But today we're going to head on to Route 4 to 12, 14, whatever it is. I'm actually going to start making our way to do the side quest we want to do. So, we've beaten like three of the eight gyms we need to be, And now we can actually, actually go back and get all the gyms we want to get. Uh, we're just going to be like... It'll, it'll take time, it'll take time obviously, but... Uh, we're just going to go do a little side quest first, so I can count with legendary Pokemon. I want to get I want to get some legendary Pokemon out of the way, because why not? Uh, we've got poison. No, it's fine. It's fine, Dolan. You'll be fine. You'll probably die, but it's fine. I want to give Riku all the experience anyway, just because, like, R Riku, I want him to evolve already. It's level 55, he evolves, then we can start, like, leveling everyone else up with the experience share, so. There we go. Okay, don't forget how great it is when it exchange phone numbers. Why not? Just think how much it's going to cost when I'm living at a Johto. Like, you're going to have to pay more tax. Uh, more, not more tax. It's going to cost you more on your contract, so. Enjoy. I really don't like contract phones, by the way. I haven't really mentioned this, but, like, I feel like they're kind of a waste of money, like, honestly, I just can't stand them. Huh? The wind has changed direction. Obviously, it's going to be a bird trainer then. Yeah, the Zatu. When you hear the Zatu, that'll be your cue. Let's go for a quick, uh... Why didn't I use bloody poison jab? I don't know. Sucker punch, even. Why didn't it work? Oh, it's probably a normal flying type then, isn't it? Well, obviously, Dolan's going to die here because I made some silly moves there, I admit it. Come on, Dolan, come on. Yep, sucks. But now we can actually go for some good old... Dragon Rushes, because I love Dragon Rush. <laughs> Honestly, look how good it is. Knocked out, we're, we're fine. Let's go for a quick Dragon Rush. Critical hit, probably not needed. We beat Justin. Wahe. Oh, no, I don't want to surf. I want to just continue on. So, so this route is pretty long. Like, it's literally going to take a full episode on full speed, on uh, super speed, which is pretty fast. Like, normally you can't see beat this pretty fast. I'm going to go. I want to see how much damage we do, like, at extreme speed. <laughs> Yep, Octillery is the old form, evolved form, I think, of um, Remoraid, which is kind of a bit weird. I may be wrong in that respect. Oh, wow, we actually we actually got a free heal on me. I don't know why I went for that move then. Extreme speed, go. Way, well, hey, critical hit. As you can see, we got a critical hit when it wasn't even needed. Safeguard, you're not letting really safeguard. It just stopped you from getting, like, ail ailments, like, paralysis and all that. Yeah, I don't really care about them. Oh, a double battle. I'm happy for this. All right, I'll shoot off. I love to look at my boyfriend's face in profile whilst he's battling. Okay. Let's fight. Couple Magma and Sunflora. Wow, uh, first of all, we're gonna end, end, end Sunflora. So, might as well go for that, like, Dragon Rush. There we go. Sunflora's actually got one of the weakest defense. Well, it has got a crappy pre evolution, the Sun, uh, sun Current. <laughs> the weakest defense in the entire game, pretty much. It's even lower than Magikarp. Magikarp's actually not that bad of a Pokemon, even though people install it like it's the worst. So, that's Vermillion City that way left. Which we're gonna go to there later on, but if I saw content while fishing and listen to some tunes on my radio, cool. Quagsire, he's not gonna stand a chance against our good bloody Dragon Rush, is he? Unless he, unless I totally miss. Oh bloody hell! Earthquake, drop it like an earthquake. He's gonna, he's gonna obviously kill us here. Because oh wow, we actually woke up. Wow, Riku, I'm so, I'm, I, I love you, Riku. I really love Riku, man. Also, another reason why I didn't want to teach him um, the bloody safeguards is just because. He already knows, um, what's it called? Is it, is it, oh my god, we're out of PP already, Jesus Christ. He knows the, uh, uh, his ability just stops him from, like, he's got shed skin, so there's no real need for us to actually do that. I think we need to switch out, um, Riku, because he's literally, he has, he's run out of PP. Let's put Kairi in. Kairi's a bit weaker, but, nah, it's fine. Oh, this, this house might to be able to heal his Pokemon, I hope so. But I think it's a fishing house, yeah. And the fishing guru is doing but you seem to like fishing, alright? Am I right? Alright? You are right, I do like fishing. Yes, here you go. He's a super rod. Fine by me for your super rod. But I've actually never really been a fan of fishing. I feel like it's awful having to catch fish, you know. Like, I know if people are a fan of him, it's fine by me. You, you guys can be as much fan as you want. But fishing it's just yeah. Nah. Bas blah 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 Okay. Fine by me. A Fero. I think actually they've got a really good Pokemon to try to say I handle this. Mirror move. Fine, you can use roll out on a rock type, bro. You can use roll out on a rock type. Spiro. <laughs> GG. That's how we do it. Easy enough fight. Easy enough. Ooh, what you gotta, what, what you gotta do? What's most important in our everyday in life? I know, uh, probably happiness. Maybe. Ooh, a Gyarados. Let's go for a quick rollout. Rain dance is fine. I'm gonna go for a rollout. Twister, it shouldn't kill us. And roll out is getting more and more damage. Because if you don't know, Gyarados is a flying water type, so Riku is level, level bloody 48. He's getting close and close to evolving, and I can't wait. 
Yep, now you can see, we, it's, the carry is starting to sweep now. This is what I really wanted to get with rollout. We're gonna stay in. As long as he doesn't miss. There we go, we, we sweeped him. Even though he had the type advantage because he had a water type, he could have easily killed us, but... Eh, yeah, noob. This is why we actually got cut as well, so we can, like, get hidden items. I don't know why, I feel like the game likes to put, um... Things behind in my item, uh, hit, like game, uh, not games, items behind cut trees. I don't know why. It just feels like, yeah. P P Pokemon battle lure people in, do they? I don't really care. I'm sure it's for experience, to be honest. It's time for some good old rollouts. I'm fine with it. I'm gonna do a magic card. It's obviously gonna have like a really high Gyarados, like level 50 or something. Or not. Wow. Level 18 Ga. That had to be a joke, Pokemon battle. I like to. Fine, but Jesus Christ, I'm just giving everyone my po my number. One day I might get like a phone call and be like, "Do you want to go out on a date?" I'd be like, "Okay, Ty, fight me." We actually nearly finished the entire side quest. Look at my Pokemon. Just look at their coloring and plumage. Um, that sounded a bit sexual, don't you think? And I've caught oh Tallow, Howling Poke, Endeavor. It's fine. I'm already low on HP anyway, so and I'm probably faster than you anyway, so it's fine. Oh, unless he uses agility, obviously. No. Come on, get ah! Uh, wow! Stop using rubes, man. My my my, my attacks are getting more and more powerful. What? What? He could have won. He, he could have won me. I'm I'm speechless right now. He could have actually killed me. Hey hey! How about we bring our Pokemon? How about your Pokemon and mine for a battle? Fine by me. He could have easily sweep me like Spoink. Oh wow! Go for a Quish Claw. Yep, Zen Headbutt. I knew it was gonna die there. We could get in there and just go for a bloody quick waterfall. Ended him. Yeah, we're gonna put Riku with the bomb in our party right now, just because we don't want him to die. We're gonna put we're gonna put Sora in first, because why not? Well, Sora is high level, but I don't, I don't like my three ace Pokemon right now, we're just like overpowered as hell. So Agility is a key attribute of bird Pokemon. It actually kinda of is because like as long as they're fast they can just get on Oh wow. They, they can get like Brave Birds off, and Brave Birds is the, the most powerful flying type move ever, and I can't wait to teach it my Toga Kiss when I do get one. Uh, which is gonna be a long way away still, it's like a good like six, seven episodes away. I'll give you a little hint. Don't you think my girlfriend's much stronger than I am? Women who take love seriously are uh, who are reckless might get hurt, okay? I kinda got a bit confused with my words there, I'm not gonna lie. Psyduck and Kadabra. It's like the same type, but first we're going to take off Kadabra and then we're going to go for a quick Surf. Oh no, I don't actually want to do that. I'll go for a quick Psychic on Psyduck. Why not? And Kadabra's dead either way. Psyduck here is going to be the main main trouble here. Especially since it's a water type, but one Psychic ended it. Wow, that was actually... I thought that was going to be a lot harder. Yeah, why not? Why not? Are you going to let your boyfriend cheat on you though? Wow, I've just like got a, a couple's number. Maybe they're down for a threesome. Maybe. Okay. This is the exact same thing as the um, original, by the way, the original Pokemon. The exact same route, so it's pretty cool. What do you got to say? Ha 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 ha! Would you like to, to fight my pack of Pikachu? Fine by me. Oh my god, how many Pikachus does he actually have? Bloody hell, we're going to go for Flamethrowers. We're not going for Flamethrowers because it's a contact move. And with Static, don't want to deal with it. No, we haven't, we haven't actually seen a Pichu either, I don't think. The pre-evolution of Pikachu, if you don't know. And, to be honest, I kind of didn't like it when they added, um, you know, pre-evolution to, like, Pokemon like Jinx, Electabuzz, well, I kind of like Electabuzz, Magby, Pichu, I just felt like that they did it just to, like, get people like, oh my god, there's actually a baby Pikachu, oh my god. It's like, when you ask a Pokemon, uh, like, a random kid out there, who doesn't understand Pokemon, what is your favorite Pokemon? And they're like, it's obviously Pikachu, and they're like, can you name any other Pokemon? Charmander? Like, I feel like they only know Charmander and Pikachu, people. I don't know why. Um, I know Tape is crazy knows a few Pokemon, even though he's only ever played one game, and that was with me. But, uh, bow down before my regal Pokemon. Or regal. I don't know how to pronounce it. Oh my god, Nido King. That's pretty low level, though. But yeah, like, Tape is crazy. Um, he's only ever played one Pokemon game, and it was with me. Ooh, Slow King. This is that first Slow King. He's just going to die to a flamethrower. Oh my god, Slow King's actually pretty good. I just live, so... Uh, Slow King's actually got bikes to the King's Rock, but like, like I said... Oh my... A level 65 magic off. Jesus Christ. I already evolved that by now, bro. Why is it I always get an urge to whistle while I'm walking through nature? I don't know. Man, because you're a bit chill. Chilled out. I really wish Tape's Crazy played my Pokemon game. Because like, there's so many good, good Pokemon games. Like, he did play my favorite game, which is the second generation. Which is this generation without the new generation of Pokemon. I feel like the second generation was like the perfect Pokemon game. Like, I don't know. I'm probably going to get a bit of hate for that. But I just feel that way. 
I can fit into a quick battle while when I'm in the midst of a prepare of preparing a meal. We're so excited to cooking right now. Cooking. Tapas' favorite Pokemon. What up, Tapas? It's shout out to you, bro. Tapas crazy. You talking about such Tapas crazy? A little shout out to him. Uh, but as you can see, Rico's level 49. He's going to get close. How about we exchange numbers? Yep, I'm down for that. I'm, I'm actually getting really hungry. Like, I feel like over the last few days, we've been eating takeaways because it's getting to the point of the year where I can't be bothered cooking because I've literally got stuff on all the time. Okay. We fought her already. There's a hiker there, which I really don't want to deal with, but I feel like I've got her. Looks like water. Don't let the fight go out. We have a wild Pokemon. Let's go. Campfire. Sounds like something out of Friday the 13th here. Oh, a Buizel. A Buizel. I love Buizel. I love how it sounds like Blizzle. It's not, it's not Blizzle. It's Buizel. And it just sounds cool. Oh, there's another guy called Clark. I'm sure we fought a hiker called Clark recently. We're going to put Goofy in first. You may be thinking why. Rock rock guy. He's going to have rock types or fighting types. Either Psychic or Water is best here. Best fit. So, that's my logic there. I, I should go to the Rock Tunnel to get an, an Onyx for myself. Or, myself an Onyx. Whatever. As long as I got the main body of the text. Sand Slash. Wow, I feel like a lot of these trainers actually got really low Pokemon. I find that really, really weird, because like, some's got really high and some's got really low. Graveler, 29. Is this guy going to have like a level 100 or something? Stupid. Let's have a look. Golem, wow. 33 Golem. I'm fine with that. Golem gets some great experience. As you can see, 6600 experience is not that bad. The same Pokemon, the same Pokemon, but, but battle results are different every time. I'd like to give value again with like trainers to phone numbers. Yep, fine by me. Fine by me. Like, I, I don't know why, I really like X and Y, you know, Pokemon X and Y. I'm actually looking for um, Z, or Z, or whatever it's going to be called, whenever that comes out, or whenever it gets announced. I don't know why, I'm just looking forward to it. M my weight puts me in Feather class. Huh? Wait, what do you mean? That doesn't sound very strong. It doesn't, because Feather, like, if you don't know, I'm underweight. I'm in an underweight class. I, I actually am underweight. My BMI is under, but I've actually got, like, like no fat. That's why I'm so underweight. But, like, I really did like X and Y. Yep, trade numbers, whatever. I can't wait for, for Z though, because I know it's going to be based around Zygarde. Uh, there's, I think it's Vital and Xerneas is the thing. I actually enjoyed it a lot more than Black and White. I really want to do Black and White one day though. Sometimes I go back to the place I met my Pokemon. They bring back good memories. I don't want to play like a lot of the um, the new generations, but you need like a certain capture card. I don't know if you guys know this, but to record on like a 3DS, for example, you need a 3DS capture card, which is it's pretty much it's pretty much really expensive to get like one of those, like two hundred quid. It's like more than an Elgato, and Elgato is like one of the top notch products you can get for like gaming. Oh my god, it's Suicune. Suicune, what's up? Where are you going? Oh wow, where's you seen? Oh, here he comes. They're always running late. What's up, you seen? Dan, not again. I'll be the first next time. Having it followed here, I'm starting to understand what Suicune is after. So to be honest, I would like to keep this information to myself, but I want to be an honest trainer in the front of Suicune. That's, that's why I'm, st I'm sharing a clue with you. It seems Suicune prefers the highly places near water. Somewhere north. I don't know exactly where yet. It will just be me and you. Who will be the first? I'll challenge you. Oh, oh wait, what? What's wrong? I like to keep this information to myself. Oh, okay. So it's on about like uh, it prefers hilly places. We can't actually go and fight him right now, Suicune. Like, like we've done all the little side quests stuff to get him to spawn, which we're going to be doing next time. Let me tell you, it's I had a hard time catching my prize Pokemon. It's probably going to be something stupid, isn't like a Snubble or something. Oh, ooh, a Bulbasaur. They're actually pretty goddamn rare. Dead head, but. Seed bomb. Wow. You can just see how weak like Pokemon are to us right now. A squirrel hole. Oh, has it got all the star Pokemon? That's so cute. I do like squirrel. I think my favorite star from the original, like a lot of people are gonna hate this. I actually like squirrel. Uh it's either squirrel or Charmander. I think it's like 6% of people like Charmander. 35 likes Squirtle and then the rest likes Bulbasaur, which is rare, like. Like Bulbasaur is like the nickelback of um, Pokemon. People say they like him. But you never really see them using them. I can't wait to go home and drop my drop off at my bag. Okay, I wanna whatever. Like we really, really, really see people actually like use um like Bulbasaur in let's play because like Bulbasaur is actually a really good Pokemon. Like I do admit, but I just feel like it lacks in the post game or later, later game, which are where I'm never gonna catch it. All right, let's get this Pokemon battle started. It's good to put what you learn to use use immediately. Double battle, I'm fine with it. I really like double battle. Oh my god. I, I, oh, so we're, we're gonna quickly use a um, psychic on the sun slash and a flamethrower on the zigzagoon. I actually do like zigzagoons from Hoenn. It's it's like, that's like the sentry of that game. It's like, it's like the ratatata sentry. There's always like some Pokemon around that. Let's go for a psychic on Roselia. Lava Plume. Oh, no, I don't wanna do that. Flame Wheel and Golbat. Get rid of the Golbat. Oh, I hate Golbats, man. 
Roselia's also got a pre-evolution of post-evolution, but they always added in the fourth generation. It was weird, like, that's one of the only Pokemon that gets, like, a pre and a post in the same generation, which is obviously Badu and uh, Rosalina. No, no, it's something like that. I, I know what it looks like. It looks like more Blossom. Here you go, I have my phone, little kid. It's a bit weird me giving my phone, number, my phone number to little kids, don't you think? All right, that's registration complete. Later on. Later. What up? Do you have after school study sessions? No, I don't. Not anymore. I used to when I was in school. Uh, people don't know. Oh, there's Badoo. There's the pre evolution. I used to actually struggle with English quite a bit. Like, my whole. Um, I actually, like, actually really work hard to actually get like a really good grade in English, which is kind of a bit weird because I'm, I'm a native speaker of English and I just really struggle with like any any of the English language, which which is kind of weird. Like, But it's like my strong point is numbers, maths. That's why I'm so good at business because like, a lot of it's like numbers. I know a lot of it's like communication as well. Oh, Jesus. But yeah, like uh, like I mentioned, like my strong point is actually numbers, which, oh my god. Ah, please, no more Pokemon. What are you going to say? Do you know what the cute Pokemon of the world is? It's Chansey, of course. I say Chansey, that's the final. What? I will give you something good if you bring me a Chansey. Obviously, it's going to be like a good egg. But by that, I mean it's a lucky egg. I think she's going to give you a lucky egg, which is it does experience for all Pokemon, which is really overpowered, like honestly, like it's such an overpowered item. Okay. I want to see how I can fight all these Pokemon in one go. Uh, what do you got to say, bro? But I've just had a little beverage. Also, on this route, you can't see when it looks like Nidorinos and Nidoran. I love gym class the best. Ooh, you're doing a lift in. 1v1 me on Rust. Uh, I actually do lift, by the way. But yeah, like, I don't know why I just always struggle with English. And I always have something like, my weakest subject out there. Like, it's the only subject I had to really work for at school. Like, I'm one of those I literally just did nothing and and I hope for the best. And I've realized, like, that's not the way forward. Like, now I'm organized. I actually, ooh. Wow, I wonder, you know, when Ditto transforms, does he actually steal all my stats? I think he does. Oh, wow. Quick. Ditto's actually faster than me as well. What the hell? Miku, get in there and go for a quick um, waterfall. That landed. But, um, yeah, like, I always struggled with English. I don't know why. Okay. Sure, yeah, I'll give you my number. I'll give you a, a talk, I guess, on why you should be, a, why I'm a better Pokemon trainer than you are. Yep, it is on about, like, Pokemon training. Generally, as locations change from day to day. Have you forgotten anything? I haven't, Mum. I haven't. Nope. And uh, she got Clefairy. Also, a really good Pokemon. Like these, po these people have actually got some really good Pokemon. I'm gonna like Gravity. It means Gravity is a really good move as well. Like it makes all flying po type Pokemon actually be attached to the ground. Guys, so uh, Riku's only got five more levels left. Buzzing. Oh, time for a double battle. We're twins. Which one are which? I don't know which one's which. Oh, two Quagsires. Let's start off with a bloody um, that, and uh, what else should we go on? We should go for a Wharf. This is annoying because I know Quagsire's got like... What? It doesn't have Water Absorb. Oh, wow. I'm, usually, I'm fine with this. I'm fine. I'm fine. I thought we'd have Water Absorb because, yeah. But we have a PP on him. And our Pokemon, which sucks. Don't attack. Please, please don't attack Riku, please. Because we need Riku alive. For more experience. Waffle. Oh wow, I feel like Riku's actually owning face right now. Honestly, like, just look at that. Wow, Riku, I'm so proud of you. I'm, I'm literally so proud of Riku, like. Have fun battling us. How about we exchange phone numbers? Sure. Sure, I'm just gonna keep going. This, this video's gonna be another long one. It might just because, like, I was trying to get to the end of the route and get this done, and then next time I'm just gonna go and fight a legendary, which probably means it's gonna be shorter. I don't know how many trainers are left, but as you can see, all right, Pokemon time, P Pokemon time for battle. I feel like, um, if we didn't spear something, it would be here ages. Spinner, sp Spinner is actually a really unique Pokemon, by the way. Each Pokemon is actually different. Also, we just walk straight up. I'm happy with that. Illumise. A Bug-type Pokemon. It's going to die one shot. These, these Pokemon are really rare, what she's showing off here. Wow. Cheers. Okay, let's keep going. Ooh, an item. Let's pick this up. We got PP up. Wow. I'm not complaining. I'm fine with the PP up. Like, it's so worth it. So we can't go back. Let's go circle the entire way around again. I think I'm gonna make sure that we can actually get to um Future State. I, I, let's battle, I won't lose, because that's the next day to the left of us, Future State, before we actually go back that way. School Kid Tommy. So that was Zatu. Why am I not speeding this up? I don't know. But um I, I am kinda of thankful that we actually got like super speed because if not this 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 would literally take the make. It really would. It's fine. We, we hurt ourselves. Either just suicide himself, Alec is that whoa, wow, look at them. Lava Cluman. Or not? Lava Cluman, come on. Reflect, you don't want to do anything because that increases physical attack. I remembered, guys, I remembered. We're clearly going to pop into Future City and actually get a little flight zone. 
because this is where we're actually going to be this is going to be the next area we're going to go and explore because like it's it, like my uh, water was telling me to go to Celadon City next which is probably one of the easiest areas to go to but I don't want to go there yet no I don't uh, you're thinking why don't I want to go there it's just because I'm doing it my way in some respects like if I do miss anything in the water I'll just go and get it but um yeah take care of my Pokemon there we go choo 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 so after we actually get um all eight badges I'm actually going to go back to Johto and actually get a uh, a Togekiss, like, if you don't know, Togekiss is, like, my favorite Pokemon, like, one of my favorite, and it's just overpowered, and the only way you can get it is literally when you've caught, got all 16 badges, which sucks how late that is, you know what I mean? Also, we can fly back here now that we've been to the Pokemon Center, so, yes, we're going to fight the rest of these trainers. Fight me, little kid. See, like, it's been 21 minutes, and we literally fought to my trainer. How? I'm on the phone to my mom. So, literally, like, me, my mom used to call me, like, literally every day when I moved out of my house. Like, you don't know, I live alone. And, and I have lived alone for like a little while now. Um, Charge beam. Ah, I shouldn't do too much. And I kind of love living alone just because like I actually get to do what I want when I want to do it. You know, it's not like my, my, my parents tell me what to do. And uh, I'm actually going home for the holidays. So when you watch this video, I should be at home. Um, self destruction. Jesus. Wow. You just suicided again, bro. Magneton. I hate Magneton. It's so tanky. Just look how tanky it is. I wonder if Whirlpool does any damage. I think we should actually switch out, but. Yeah, might as well switch out. Go on, sorry, get in there. You, you, you can take this Magneton on pretty easy. Discharge. Way. <laughs> there you go, Magneton's dead. And let's go for another Magnemite. Simple as. Boom, bam. There we go. Way. Okay, there's a lot more trains over this route, which I'm surprised about, really. On sunny days, I think these kids would rather be playing in the playground than studying class. I agree. Like, when I, when, when I was a kid, what I, my school used to do is... They used to actually allow you to go outside and actually learn also Suicune, the lowest defense in the game. <laughs> yeah. Um, my parent, my uh, my school used to allow us to actually work outside and we used to like do like surveys and, and like look at cars and stuff and count how many cars. It was like basic math skills pretty much when I was a kid. And I used to love it. Like I, It was like one of the best times ever. But like there was a lot of um, cautious doing that because like what if a kid ran off or got killed or something? The school would be like able to get sued, you know, and stuff. Which is kind of annoying, but it happens. Like my school is really protective in that respect. Uh, that respect, I want to say incense then, because I've got picked up some rose incense. But I really do like my school. Like, I hated the people there. Hey, your Pokemon, show me, show me, show me, show me. Like, because they all like, like a lot of people found out about my YouTube channel pretty late on, and and they all started judging me for it. And they, I used to get like, I'm not gonna lie, I did get bullied for my YouTube channel. And uh, people just didn't understand YouTube back then, and now I'm I'm doing something I love and. I, if I didn't come back, like you don't, you don't let the haters get too like people say that. But like when, when literally you're the only YouTuber you know. Like this is back when nobody I knew did YouTube. Wow, this spinner did a lot of damage to me. Like Volbeat, ooh, that is the alternative to Elamise. Okay, just get another one. Stop using Protect now. There we go. Boom. And I got, I got quite a bit of like, I got quite like bullied for it and. I really hate people who just bully people because they don't understand it. We're on a school trip to Lavender, Lavender Towns, the Radio Tower for social studies. Wow. Wow. Wouldn't that be like more business though? Because like, it's, it is a, a career. I don't know. Razor is going to kill him, yeah. Oh, wow. Wow. I'm, I'm, I'm shocked how tanky um, Kyrie actually is. Yeah. Oh, wow. Uh, slash, go. Yeah. Victory Bell. We're going to go for a quick slash. We should be faster. But yeah, I, I, we should die easily here. I feel like a lot of these Pokemon trainers are actually pretty weak. Like, like only reason I'm taking so much dumb damage because I'm literally trying to get my Pokemon some levels up. Yep, nice on Riku. I'm proud of you. Level 51, man. Riku is literally caught up so fast in like the last 10 episodes. Ever since the Elite Four, has literally just been grinding these levels out, and I'm so proud of him for it. Any more trainers to fight? I feel as if we've done. Yes, we have. So guys, instead of going to fight. Lavin, uh, we're gonna go back to now Cerulean City, and you may be thinking, why is that? We're just gonna go on legendary Pokemon hunting next time. So yeah, uh, I'm just gonna go and quickly save before we get up there. I'm gonna be fighting one of the last legendary Pokemon. Well, not one of the last ones because there's quite a few left. There's like, I think five more I'm gonna get after this. But um, yeah, we're just gonna go and heal up. I'm not gonna use this legendary Pokemon because I don't agree with using legendary Pokemon in his team because they're kind of overpowered, like in a lot of regards. Like they're just so overpowered. But I'm still going to try to use it and stuff. And, uh, yeah. I just think it's a perfect time to end off the episode. Well, when we get back up there. Because, like, we have to go back to where, you know, where we found Misty, like, two episodes ago. That is where we're going to be going 
next. So, yep, let's uh, get on a bike. Let's get on his bike and let's go up north. Okay, okay. This is where we're going to be encountering Suicune. Way. And you have to encounter him in all the locations, which I've, I've done in the entire let's play. And the last location is on Route 14. Which I had to Google, I had to Google out because I didn't know where it was. I thought we should have been able to encounter Suicune now. But I think it should be up here, shouldn't it? He? Yep, he's right there. But if you enjoyed this video, please give a like. I'll really appreciate it. Next time we're going to fight Suicune. I'll see you guys then. Peace.